Park City's marathon needs thousands of volunteers to make race weekend run smoothly. And tomorrow, the application process opens with a variety of ways that you can help when marathon events kick off in two months. Arlena Bleets explains how you can lend a helping hand and why a lot of volunteers say it's worth the early wake up call. Love to support the community and cheer on your family and friends, but running or walking several miles isn't your thing. I am not a runner. Nope. Okay. Never ever have been interested in running. There's still a way to experience the excitement and adrenaline rush of the 32nd annual Fox Cities Marathon. Community feeling, that passion that everybody has for seeing other people fulfill their goals is some of the most rewarding volunteering I've ever done. Just help support your community and the organization, what it stands for is, is really what it's all about. This series of races need 2,300 volunteer spots filled to make it happen. Whether you are a volunteer, a participant, or a cheerleader on the sidelines, uh, the Fox Cities Marathon really brings everybody together in a really wonderful role. And if you are already racing, why not volunteer to help stuff goodie bags, set up the course, paint kids' faces, or even work a different race? A lot of our volunteers uh, might volunteer on Sunday for the full marathon, but we see them running the 5K or the 10K on Saturday. I was a participant also as a runner and a volunteer. After three days of events that just could not happen without the hundreds of volunteers, the race weekend will culminate at Riverside Park in Nina. Lena Bleets, Action 2 News.